Hello everyone, I'm Dan, and today I'm going to be showcasing some ideas for an extended Celestial Body Dragger plugin, which I've implemented as a little prototype here. Uh, I might turn this into a more full-fledged plugin at some point, but these are just some of the ideas that I've been working with at the moment. So to start off with, when I click on this button here up in my toolbar, you'll see that we have a little UI down here in the corner. These are all of the options for the plugin. So of course you have reposition sun or reposition moon. And we're going to start off with the direct direction. So this is just directly wherever your mouse is. This is classic. You can of course do it with the moon as well. So there's the moon. Hello moon. You see that works just fine and dandy. So that's basically everything that we've had so far is just like that. Where things get interesting are the different direction modes. Starting off with normal. So Let's say I want the sun to be lighting up this side of the sphere. Well, I mean, before what we'd have to do, we'd have to sort of like try and line it up like that. But of course, my idea was simply click on the side of the sphere you want illuminated, and there you go. And of course, you can drag it around. It's interactive. This runs real time. It doesn't work so great on flat surfaces, obviously, because they're flat. So you get kind of boring lighting. But I think if you're working with something like terrain, where you have these sort of angled surfaces which you want to highlight, or if you want to add like a rim light on something, then this can be very useful. Um, next is line. So if we just, I don't know, let's say that we have these walls here and we want to, we want these walls to cast a certain angled shadow. So what I can do is I can drag from this corner here to somewhere on this wall and you can see I have exact, precise control over where the shadow goes. The way this works is that I'm drawing a line between two points in 3D spaces, drawing a line from this point here to wherever my mouse is. It's sort of doing all the ray casting and everything. And that line will point towards where the sun is. And what this means is that I can essentially, I can draw on a shadow of something. So let's say I want to choose where this corner's shadow lands. So I just drag from here. You can see I'm now controlling where that corner is in the shadow. So you can use this uh, for drawing out shadows of large things. So let's just go back to the shadows we had before. So these shadows are looking pretty nice, but I want to adjust them. Maybe it'd be nice if we moved this back like eight studs. Now, normally that would require a lot of, you know, eyeballing it, but luckily we now have another mode called shadow, which lets you just directly drag a shadow like that to adjust it. It works on the sphere as well. So we can drag this shadow in to neaten it up. Or perhaps we want this wall to have a longer shadow so we can just drag the shadow out. So I really like this mode, especially because it's very, very intuitive um, and is is great for when you have like almost perfect lighting, but you just need to budget over a bit. Maybe we could have this cast onto the wall a bit more. And so you can immediately see the power of all of this. And of course, this all works with the moon as well. So if it's nighttime and we go to that shadow here, we could still drag our moon shadows just the same way. And of course, the line mode works as well, as well as your normal modes. So yeah, so... That's basically what I've been uh, tinkering with this evening. It's nothing too massive. I mean, I did make this whole prototype thing with Fusion for what it's worth. So I did get a bit of uh, Fusion testing in there as well. And it was pretty neat. But I think I'll probably end up packaging this as part of something larger if I ever do release it. Because as it is right now, it's a bit too small for me to consider, like distributing it on its own. I kind of want to package it in with something more useful uh, because there are some other lighting related ideas that I have for plugins that I would kind of like to roll into this. So what I'm going to do, I'm probably going to work on this a little bit more and then release something a little more fleshed out in the future. But that's about it for this. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, hopefully this gave you a few ideas or some inspiration for some plugins of your own. I've been Dan and I will see you guys next time.